over the last couple of years, we've come to understand why we go to the office. Because in the old days, you went to the office because that was where the typewriter was, that was where your, your desk was, that was actually a place you went to, to work. Today, we can work everywhere. I work at my kitchen bank back home, I work at the Starbucks cafe, but the only place I meet my colleagues is in the office. So I go there to share my ideas, to show my designs, to, to, have, to have fun with my colleagues and to share bright ideas. So when I go there, it's a place I want to be creative, I want to feel good, and that's why the well-being trends is starting to be so massive in lighting that when you specify, people want, of course, enough light to do whatever, but they want to feel good. They want to look good. They want to be able to read the emotions in your colleague's face. Because when I come to work, I flip up my laptop and say, look what I've done back home. And then I look my colleague in the eye and she says, I don't really like that design. And then I can go back and work, but I don't need to be in the office to work. I need to be in the office to get the feedback and to share my knowledge with my colleagues and we do that in a lighting that is very, very different than when we had a pen and an ink and we were writing on paper and we were filing it in a cabinet somewhere. So that's why the well-being trend is so big as it is right now that we want to feel good because you can't be honest, you can't share your honest ideas with your colleagues if you don't feel good. And bad lighting is definitely a source that makes people feel bad. When you hear about tired eyes, headaches, migraine, epilepsy, muscle tensions. There are so many things that point toward bad lighting. So if you hear one of these things from your colleagues, it's probably because either their position in relation to the lighting isn't good or the overall lighting design could have been better. So think about that when you look at the well-being standard and people ask about these things, that it's about doing good lighting design that, um, that fulfills human needs.